This play has such a beating heart to it. It's like that when you finish a book and you close it and you're, there's tears in your eyes and you just want to go back and experience it again. That's how I felt. I was delighted it was being revived and I didn't know it hadn't been revived since its original Broadway production, so that was a huge attraction. It's constructed superbly, the dialogue is magnificent, the depth of the characters is profound, and if done satisfactorily, it has an extraordinary impact. I don't think that either one of them throughout the course of their lives had often met their match intellectually. She had written to somebody else and said, he just about knocked my props out from underneath me and I've seldom enjoyed anything more. And, and there's a wonderful sort of sense of a, a tight-knit group which is um, really enhances the process for all of us. Uh, as is most fortunate the case with Robin, we have um, a co-lead with whom one feels tremendous uh, confidence. I think Joy and C.S. Lewis's relationship will always be relevant. It will always resound to any audience, no matter what is happening. It's, it's a love story, and it's a really good one. Another huge question this play asks, this huge universal question, I know I asked myself this last week when I turned on the news, how can a, a good God, a, a, a God of love, allow such awful things to happen? That's heavy stuff. <laughs> so I hope that people are asking themselves some, some heavy questions on the way home. And also reminiscing about some beautiful things that they've gone through in life as well. Thank you.